For some, New York City is the center of the universe. It's home to some of the world's best restaurants, hotels, museums, boutiques, and bars. There are fun things to do around every corner, from the must-see tourist attractions to the off-the-beaten-path local gems. Now, here are the top 10 things to do in New York City. See some of the world's most important art at the Met Museum. New York City is home to some of the finest art museums in the world. At the Metropolitan Museum of Art, you could spend a week browsing 5,000 years of human creativity, from the ancient Egyptian Temple of Dender to Warhol's Mao, and still not see everything. The museum is New York's version of the Louvre, where you'll see Renaissance masterpieces alongside pre-Columbian artifacts. With a constantly evolving collection and special exhibits, there's no, been there, done that, when you're talking about the Met. It's worth a visit on every trip to New York, whether it's your first trip or your 50th. Be dazzled by billboards in Times Square. Hands down, Times Square is the most frenetic part of New York City, a cacophony of flashing lights and shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder crowds that many New Yorkers studiously avoid. If you like sensory overload, the chaotic mix of huge underwear billboards, flashing digital displays, on-location television broadcasts, naked cowboys, and Elmo clones will give you your fix. Take in views of the skyline from the Empire State Building and One World Trade Center. There's no better way to understand the scope of New York City than by a visit to the top of one of the skyscrapers that make up the iconic skyline. At top of the rock on the 70th floor of Rockefeller Center, you'll have gorgeous views of Midtown as well as the pièce de résistance of New York's Art Deco skyscrapers, the Empire State Building. The views of the city from the 86th floor deck are spectacular, but the views from 16 stories up on the 102nd floor observatory are even more so, and yet, fewer visitors make it this far. Downtown, One World Observatory offers panoramic views and dining options on the 101st floor of the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. See some of the world's most incredible modern art at the Museum of Modern Art. New York's The Museum of Modern Art is home to some of the world's most recognizable modern masterpieces from artists like Warhol, Calder, Picasso, and Van Gogh. Dedicated to art, sculpture, and photography, the museum is a must-visit. In Queens, MoMA PS1 showcases avant-garde contemporary art in a converted schoolhouse. It's a love-it-or-hate-it kind of place, where art is provocative, confusing, shocking, and everything else art should be. Walk to Brooklyn via the Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge is the prettiest bridge in New York and one of the city's most iconic structures. Walking across the East River atop the wooden planks structure takes about 40 minutes and delivers some of the best views of Lower Manhattan. If the bridge is too crowded for you or if it's in an inconvenient part of town, take a walk across the Williamsburg Bridge instead. Connecting two of New York's hippest neighborhoods, this bridge isn't as iconic as the Brooklyn Bridge, but it's less crowded, with great views of the skyline. Discover your immigrant past at the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. For millions of immigrants, the first glimpse of America was the Statue of Liberty, growing from a vaguely defined figure on the horizon into a towering, stately colossus. Visitors approaching Liberty Island on the ferry from Battery Park may experience a similar sense of wonder. The neighboring Ellis Island National Museum of Immigration tells the story not just of Ellis Island but of immigration from the colonial era to the present day, though numerous galleries containing artifacts, photographs, and taped oral histories. Become a kid again at the American Museum of Natural History. The largest natural history museum in the world is also one of the most impressive sites in New York. Four city blocks make up the American Museum of Natural History's 45 exhibition halls, which hold more than 30 million artifacts from the land, sea, and outer space. Frolic in Central Park A combination escape hatch and exercise yard, Central Park is an urbanized Eden that gives residents and visitors alike a bite of the apple. The busy southern section of Central Park, from 59th to 72nd Street, is where most visitors get their first impression. But no matter how many people congregate around here, you can always find a spot to picnic, ponder, or just take in the greenery, especially on a sunny day. Pay your respects at the 9-11 Memorial. Finished just in time for the 10th anniversary of 9-11, these 30-foot waterfalls sit on the footprint where the Twin Towers once stood. The pools are each nearly an acre in size, and they are said to be the largest man-made waterfalls in North America. 
Edging the 9-11 memorial pools at the plaza level are bronze panels inscribed with the names of the 2,983 people who were killed in the terror attacks at the World Trade Center site, in Flight 93's crash in Pennsylvania, at the Pentagon, and the six people who died in the World Trade Center bombing in 1993. Stroll the High Line once a railroad track carrying freight trains, this elevated space, running from Gansvoort Street in the Meatpacking District to West 34th Street, has been transformed into a wonderful retreat from the hubbub of the city. A long, landscaped, walking park with plants, curving walkways, picnic tables and benches, public art installations, and views of the Hudson River and the Manhattan skyline, the High Line is now one of the most visited parks in New York City.